good puppies. Now the only one that cares about the puppies really is Molly. Sizzy will. But Molly is a shepherd. Good babies. Now they're used to being around the border collies, which means they have a way they operate. Molly behave. Good. Now what they need to see is that a human being can protect them. This is where the fear comes in. Good babies. Good puppies. You're fine. Hi, you're fine. So we need to stay close enough to them that we reassure them. Hey. Good boys. Easy. Good puppies. Hi. What do you think? So now, you take them out to a class. Look at, they have to get, oh, they, it, it's okay. They're dogs. And dogs are dogs. So we don't care about humans right now. This is dog. Good. That's Tuzzy, the busy, sizzy monkey shino. She's half uh, mini Australian Shepherd and half Lakeland. She is. She is wonderful. And she's got a lot of the herder tendencies, but the terrier, you know, attitude. Hey, Tavi, what do you think? Hi. Now, their only security in here is me, which is not even doing anything with them. Good babies. Good puppies. So before we start, we always want to have them a, a situation where they're safe and they get a chance to recover a little bit. That darn thing, look at it. Tubby. Good baby. So when a wolf brings their pup, their pups out of the den, it comes into the pack. This is it. Troubles, you're a cow. Okay, we're gonna let these guys outside and blow off some steam. Then we'll do some temperament testing. Hi, Troubles. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good. We got rid of them. What do you think? Good puppies. Yeah, but that one time, and we'll do it again, and they'll be loose in here altogether, which is really cool. The hard thing when you have one breed is that that's the only breed that they see. So they see border collie behaviors, but they aren't going to see really terriers or, or some other ones. Uh, the lab, he is so valuable in here because he's big, he's a cow, but he's very good. He listens. Um, Rocco, the little hound, he's Basset Hound Lab. He's an improvement on both breeds. Now, mind you, he pees on things, but he, he doesn't have a mean bone in his body and he doesn't have any separation anxiety, he just doesn't care. Sizzy is that cute little happy dog that can drive a border collie crazy. Molly's the big shepherd that these dogs will have to function around. So, let's go gather some bodies. Come on, you guys. Where's Tuzzy? Tuzzy! Hi! Good job! 
Oh my. She's a cartoon dog. Hi! Are you Tubby? Hi, Roko. What do you think? Now he'll go in and see if they got any food. What do you think? Now you can bring your chairs over this way. Just, we're going to kind of stay real still. So the puppies, and don't sit next to each other. You want to split it up. There you go. Yep. So now you give the puppy pockets of security. And don't, be, don't do a lot of petting. Just go, you're fine. Good puppies. Good puppies. Good puppies. Oh, Troubles, look at you. Oh, he's happy. Good puppies. What's going on with you, huh? What's going on with you, girl? And just let them. This is just, you know, you're the mom wolf. Okay, now you don't want to do a lot of encouraging the dogs to come over and get petted, to, to really interact at all. You want the puppies, good puppies. Now, just talk to them more than touch them. Now, they are being absolutely sane, and look at the puppy cautiously. Good boys. Oh, Roka, what is that thing? Oh, no, not another one. Good boy. There you go. Hi. You praise for bravery. Now, a lot of people can do temperament tests. A lot of people can do things. Because of the dogs I have and the way they're conditioned, there's few people that can really do this with dogs. This is just awesome. I mean, it, they, one experience changes the way they look at the world. Yes. That's exactly right. Yep. Yep. And that that was, you know, a lot of, oh, good girl, Tavi. Now, in a wolf pack, there would be nobody that really, well, the mom would protect them, but they have to make their own way. So when we take a puppy and we save them from things, they learn too much dependency on us. He is so good with puppies. Oh, Tuddy, look at that. What do you do with it? Oh, my gosh. She pokes you with her nose. She is. She's going to eventually go as a service dog. There's a, a veteran, a dear veteran friend of mine. And he's got one now that's 14 years old. And... Um, he really needs another dog. And he's had some health issues. Hi, Tubby. What you doing? What you doing, Tubby? Did I want you? I thought so. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> so this kind of teaches them to just kind of suck it up and Tubby be easy with the puppies. Now, this is where I'll add weight to a dog if I need to bring it down a little, because I won't let them harass puppies. There's no playing um, at the cost of the puppy. <laughs> what you doing? Are you a funny guy? Now, the best thing you can do is probably to grab another chair and move. So you can do the same thing or just switch chairs, because the puppies have to keep track of you rather than you keep track of the puppies. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They disrupted the egg cart. Oh my goodness. Good puppies. Yep. So if you just grab another chair, now we've got options. Oh, look at you. And in a pack, you would pay more attention to the adults than the puppies because the puppies are actually just kind of parasites really i mean they they're the future but if the pack starts to get hungry the, well they don't they starve because the adults have to survive good puppies so you teach the puppies to work to become mature yeah 
Now we're starting to see a different side of the puppies. And this is just puppies that haven't been a lot of places. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no pass or fail. Look at that. Now they're over the good girl, I see. Good girl. So now the puppy, hi, did you say hi? Hello, you don't hate me anymore? What a wonderful idea. I wouldn't try to take that from you. But that teaches, yeah. but when you think about this, the adult dogs in here, and me, and us, control the food, the fun, the attention, the comfort, and the safety. And he's doing it with that bone. That's control. A double dog dare you, huh, Troubles? <laughs> May I tell you a little quick story? Sure. The coolest thing. I had a litter of border collies, and the male was in the kitchen with just the puppies. The mother was gone. And he played about and got them all to come over to him, and he raised his leg, mm -hmm. and they didn't do anything. Right. So he went, Rah! and they all ran away. Mm -hmm. He played with them again. Mm -hmm. He asked them to come. Mm -hmm. He did the same thing. Yeah. He taught them. But that's what a good, that's what my dogs do. It's so cool to watch them. It is. Now, the, when you depend on humans to raise your puppies, humans are terrible. We, I bought an Airedale, and she was a really good breeder. I mean, she really, she very been around a long time. And she had this litter of Airedales, and I, was, I bought one. We went over to get it, and the day before, the puppies had never been out of the room that they had been born in. Um, and it was way out in the country, so there's really no socialization. Um, she was paranoid about germs, so the puppies had been pretty isolated. The day before I got there, a woman had come in from New York because she wanted a tough dog. She had temperament tested them using really hard, and that that dog never recovered from that, never. Um, it was her first introduction, it was the puppy's first introduction to an, a stranger, to an outside person. Hi. And that's what I said when I, when I did the toe pinch. There, there's no reason to do that. You just toughen them up a little. Tuffy is toughening them up a little bit. She is so good with puppies. Yes. She is. Mm-hmm. She likes puppies. Yeah, but that's what you, look at that. Sure. And she pokes them with her nose, that's yes, her big. That's <laughs> <laughs> so now you got the joyful attitude from the terrier, but the control with the herder. And so they have to learn to be appropriate with little dogs. And most people, well, not most people, there's a lot of people who have big dogs they never learn to be appropriate. <laughs> what is it? It's a cartoon dog. Good puppies. They very obviously look at people as security. That's, that's great. Hi, Rocco. Oh, look at they do to you. I know, it's just such a terrible thing to have all these puppies. Yeah. Yep. That's like the Empire State Building. <laughs> Hi. Good puppy. Hi. Oh. Now, why do I want you? He was a dog that they had to give away because they were going to start raising bulldogs crossed with pit bulls. Nice. So you know where he would have gone. So, he's here. Yes. You poor thing. You're such a hound. But he's a hound that comes when he's called? That's a novelty. It is. It is. Oh, my goodness. But this is the most important dog training you can do with them as babies. Well-adjusted, happy dogs play but not crazy. But then you can start getting into commands where the puppies come when they're, you know, you can teach them to come when they're called. This is, this is the nice, oh, Sissy wanted you, you wanted her. 
Hey, puppets. Hi. Well, look at you. Hi. Hey, you. Good puppies. There, you're waking up a little. Hi. I know. I don't really want you in my lap, though. You're such a hound. No, off. Come on. Off. Thank you. Hi, Troubles. Oh, my goodness. You lost your brush. Sissy, don't you do it. Nip. You know how herders are. They better not be. Well, I mean, it's, what do you do when you're that short? Go after something that you're going to eat. No, it's a pinch. Hi. Oh, boy. Come here in trouble. Get it. Here. Hi, Mal. No, off. 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 Thank you. Good puppies. There we go. This is the toughest dog training you'll ever do. Yeah. It's just like Pearl. She's going to be raised along with Jake. Yeah. Pearl's learning to be a dog. Right. And she was so naughty in the kennel. Just picked her up. She was so naughty in the kennel. She pooped in the kennel. She tipped over her water bucket. She took her bowl and put it in her bucket because the puppy was doing those things. The puppy was barking for his dinner. Pearl said, I think that sounds like a good idea. And she did it. I mean, it, it's really funny. Hi, Ma. Oh, that sounds like a good idea to you. Good puppies. Good puppies. Now it gets very difficult. You know the routine, don't you? Find it. Find it. You are too good. These poor puppies won't have a chance. We're going to have to put some of these away. Oh, you're going to take some of yours, and they're just crumbs. It's just something for the puppies to find. You're going to say, puppies, come find it. So you're going to kind of throw them you know, because this is like tracking. So kind of throw it around. And you want enough that nobody gets, you know, it's not competition. Everybody gets some. So you find a whole colony of crumbs of food. Okay. So you, we're going to be over here. Hey, puppets. Hi, Cody. Okay. Now, uh, there you go. Okay. Now you're going to kind of throw it around over there. Just throw it kind of down there. Okay, now you're going to say really loud and happy. Puppies, come on. Puppies, come find it. Come, come on, puppy, puppies. Come, on, come find puppies. it. Come Hunt it up. Come Hunt it up. Come on, Tully. Let's hunt it up. Come on. Oh, good. Hunt it up. Tully, come. Oh, Tully, find it. Oh, Tully found it. Good job. Good puppies. Good <coughs> honey dog. So at this point, Shannon now just kind of spread a few of them out there. Uh-oh. Sissy's only there to teach the puppy. No, puppies come find it. You're getting them. I'm going to lock her up here shortly, but in the beginning, you want the enthusiasm of dog knows how to play the game. This is a really fun game to play with them. Okay, now I'm going to put Sizzy away here. Why don't you take the rest of these? Hey, Toddy. That's a monkey shino. That's 
She is a busy sissy. Wait. Good. Wait. Good girl. I know. Okay, Nancy. Now throw it. Just throw it up and have it come down kind of. Okay. Puppies. Puppies. Come find it. Good puppies. Good. Find it. Find it. Hunt it up. It. Hunt it up. It. Hunt it up. Good puppies. Oh, good puppies. Okay, Shannon, kind of down here. Give away my stash to Susie. Yeah, you don't need as many now because Susie's put away. So when they hear you, this is tracking. Just kind of throw it over there. Now. No, you're in two into commands. Now, pup, pup, pup is how you call them for dinner and call. This is to use their silly noses. Because <laughs> you want them looking for, if you say, come find it and then hunt it up, you want them. To know what it is. Yeah. And so you can't, you, you don't want to use a word that you call them to eat because this isn't that. Okay, throw it a little ways away. There you go. Okay. Puppies, come find it. Puppies, come find it. There you go. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. There you go. There you go. Hunt it up. Oh, we got a pee first. See, you went to a different place. So they're going to the same place. You walk over there a little farther. Puppies, come find There you go. There you go. Good puppy. Good find it. Good find it up. Find it up. And this gets a game that they're all working together, but they're not playing with each other. That's the whole purpose of this. Very nice. And you can you can do like those little crumbs broken in half. So there's like six little tiny pieces. That's it. Good puppy. So it's a treasure hunt. Now if you take dog food, stick a jerky treat down in it, it takes on the smell. So now you can play a game. Puppies, come find it. Come find it. Come on. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Hunt it up. Good, hunt it up. You got this. All right. Oh my goodness, they're having a good time. Good, hunt it up. And as long as you say hunt it up, there's still stuff down there. So they keep looking until good puppies. If you need to walk over there, tell them, hunt it up. Oh man, that's fun stuff. Now this is really fun to do with them every day. You can take it out in the grass and you can have them find stuff. I wouldn't give them too much more because they've actually had quite a little bit. Good puppies. Now, at this point, you can put a little light collar on them with a little string. Tie a toy on the end of it. Now, you don't have the puppies together, but, you know, they drag it, they pick it up, it's got some pull to it. You can start stepping on the end of it, tell them wait. Oh, good, wait. Take it off, of course, when you're not using it. But you teach that puppy to work on lead. So if you put that on, snap it on the collar to go play this game. The dog's working on lead already. Good puppies. But you never make them compete with a powerful adult. Never. 
So even Sizzy, she won the first ones. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be that way because you never push a puppy ahead. Hey, puppies, come find it. Hunt it up. Huh? I see a cowboy. Oh, this is a great way to get them working together. But that's competition right there. Ha, ha, ha. But now look at how confident they are. Just that little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's just, it's not a sentence, and you can't look at it that way. It's absolutely an education. Good girl. <laughs> Are you lying to those puppies? Puppies, come find it. Come find it. Honey dog. Ooh, there's one. Good honey dog. There you go. So you you say the right words, and then they associate that with your tracking. How long is the big dog's chain? She's got it now. But that's no different than when I threw it. They didn't. They weren't going to challenge me for it. And it's all right. They're nice puppies. There's nobody that's over the top tough and nobody that's wimpy. They're just really nice, solid little puppies. They've certainly had a secure puppyhood. You can tell that. Yeah. Yeah, no, they, they trust people and they like people. They've been very valued. Well, she did. She did. Um, probably they've been used to having a heck of a lot of attention, but the fact that she had to go to work, that took care of some of that. We were told we had to get up at 5 in the morning to give them an hour before we went to work. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Company policies vary. <laughs> oh. Hey, you. Hi. Am I not so bad now? I know. That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Did you like that, too? You weren't impressed. No. Um, like that game? That's, there's so many fun things. And by putting out different textures, different footing, different things to climb on, and you've done that. So good. <laughs> good puppies. They're nice babies. I like your puppy. I like your puppy. I like that little male, too. Yeah. Hey, you. Hi. Hi, you. Good girl. Are you the performer? Hello. Oh, you're my friend now? You don't like, you don't dislike me now? 